Welcome back to Airgun Academy, the series that helps identify the right air gun for you. We're going to be starting a two-part series, which covers something very important that every air gunner should know, and also requires a great deal of safety. I'm talking about how to clean your air gun barrel. Some of you may already shoot firearms and may be very well acquainted with the methods of cleaning them. Unfortunately, you're going to have to unlearn all of that because air guns are very different. For starters, air guns do not fire their pellets with gunpowder. So, an air gun never generates the carbon deposits that result from burning gunpowder. Next, air guns most often shoot lead pellets. And, at the velocities they travel, they're very unlikely to leave bad deposits in the barrel. Also, air guns do not use jacketed bullets. So metal fouling doesn't get deposited in the bore. That's why cleaning an air gun barrel is considerably different than cleaning a firearm barrel. In fact, many shooters never clean their barrels, even after thousands of shots. How often you have to clean your air gun barrel depends on many things. First of all, air gun barrels are made from one of two different types of materials. One would be soft steel, like this Air Venturi Bronco. Or brass, like the Benjamin and Sheridan line of multi-pump pneumatics. There was one air gun that had a bronze barrel, but for the sake of this episode, we'll consider it the same as brass. Brass barrels don't allow lead to attach to the barrel, so they never need to be cleaned. In fact, cleaning a brass air gun barrel exposes it to more harm than good. So remember, leave brass barrels alone. If you're unsure of your barrel's material, see if it attracts a magnet. Only a steel barrel will attract a magnet. But be careful because some steel barrels are buried so deep inside their synthetic jackets that you can't get close enough to the actual barrel to test it. We'll discuss steel barrels in much more detail in the second part of this lesson. The second consideration for determining how often you need to clean the barrel is the velocity of your air gun. If it shoots less than about 800 feet per second, there won't be much of a need to clean it. Olympic target air guns shoot between 400 and 600 feet per second and they are seldom, if ever, clean. Higher velocity air guns eventually need to have their barrels clean, but how often depends on what type of pellets they shoot. Which brings us to our third consideration when determining how often you should clean your air gun barrel. That would be the type of pellets your air gun shoots. Pure lead pellets are the cleanest type. Air guns that shoot these generally never need cleaning. The exceptions are those air guns that shoot over 1100 feet per second which are among the highest velocities for air guns. Hard lead pellets have antimony in them, which allows lead to scrape off and solder itself to the bore. Guns that shoot faster than 800 feet per second with these types of pellets get dirty enough that this lead has to be removed. Synthetic pellets, such as lightweight pellets that have plastic skirts, are the dirtiest of all pellets and will cause a steel barrel to require cleaning after a short period of time. Finally, non-lead pellets made from lightweight metal alloys are about as clean as pure lead pellets. Best way to know when the barrel of your air gun needs to be cleaned is when you notice the accuracy drop off. In the second part of this lesson, I will demonstrate the method on how to clean your air gun barrel. So be sure to stay tuned. Because an air gun does not get dirty in the same way as a firearm, the products for cleaning firearms are mostly wrong for air guns. There are a few exceptions, but we'll get to that in part two. You might be asking, why is the barrel of my air gun always dirty? This is the one thing about air guns that confuses everyone. Run a patch through the bore, and it comes out looking dirty. But what you see isn't actually dirt. The black on your patch is the antioxidant compound that is on most modern pellets to keep them from turning to dust. 50 years ago, pellet manufacturers used oil. Today, some makers still use a wax compound, but most use a graphite powder that coats each pellet. You can't see it, but after handling pellets, your hands will be dirty from rubbing it off. Even if you clean this powder from your barrel, the very next pellet you shoot will begin depositing it all over again. But if you never clean your barrel, this dark powder is removed by every pellet you shoot. However, 
Each pellet also leaves more of the same stuff behind. To clean the barrel of your air gun, you're going to need the following. A solid cleaning rod of the correct size and caliber. A jar of JB non-embedding bore cleaning compound. Cleaning patches of the correct size. A brass or bronze bore brush of the correct caliber for the rod and gun. A cleaning loop for the rod to hold the patches. And a good grade of low viscosity gun oil. Personally, I recommend Ballistol. For this lesson, I'll be using the Air Venturi Bronco. As we move through this episode, I'll go over the various issues that arise when cleaning air gun barrels. The Bronco is a brake barrel, and you'll need to clean it from the breech end. If I were cleaning a rifle like this RWS Diana 48 or this Daisy 22 SG, I would have to clean them from the muzzle. It's very important that you always clean from the breech when possible, so you don't damage the rifling at the muzzle. I recommend using a solid one-piece cleaning rod like this. Or a sectional cleaning rod will work just as well. You don't want to use a pull type cleaning tool made of monofilament line, which can easily cut the steel of your barrel. It also takes too long, as you'll see. Attach the brass bore brush to the rod and coat it with JB non-embedding bore cleaning compound. You may think that this stuff is dangerous for your barrel because it's abrasive, but the particles are like the abrasive particles in toothpaste. It will polish the inside of your bore without wearing it out. After the brush is coated, run the rod through the barrel from the breech until the brush comes all the way out of the muzzle. Then pull it back all the way until it clears the breech again. The first few passes of the brush through the bore will be very difficult. You'll probably have to choke up on the cleaning rod like I'm doing to force it through the bore. Also, when it comes back out, the rod will be coated with a black gunk that is very hard to get off your clothes. For that reason, I like to wipe the rod with a paper towel after every pass through the bore. Push the brush through the bore and pull it back 20 times. At some point, usually around the 10th pass, the brush will start passing through the bore with less resistance. That's because the bristles are conforming to the barrel. They'll still clean when this happens, so continue to push the brush through the bore until 20 passes have been made. Now that you're done with the bore brush, remove it and put the loop on the rod. Wipe the breech face and the muzzle with paper towels to get rid of all the black JB bore paste. Next, Thread in a cleaning patch through the loop. And run the rod through the bore from breech to muzzle. When the patch comes out of the muzzle, remove it and insert another patch in the loop. Pull the rod back out through the breech. Do this several times until the patch comes out relatively clean. By relatively, I mean when the patch still has a few small dark streaks on it, like this. Spray a patch with some ballistol and run it through the bore. Remove the wet patch and insert a dry patch and pull it back through the bore. Continue to run wet and dry patches through the bore until the patches start coming out clean. When you're finished, the bore will have a thin coat of ballastol on the metal, even if the last patch you used was a dry one. Ballastol is great for preventing the formation of rust during short storage periods like a year or less. Do not substitute other gun oils in place of it. 
because ballistol is a very special formula. We cannot recommend other gun oils because we don't know how they behave. For guns that must be cleaned from the muzzle, use pistol brushes that are shorter than rifle brushes. They'll be easier to remove from the gun when you reverse the direction of the cleaning rod. Cleaning loops and brushes have thread patterns that are based on calibers. A 177 caliber cleaning rod, for example, will not accept a 22 caliber bore brush and vice versa. The bore brush has the tendency to unscrew itself as it's pushed through the board. You must keep tightening it, or it will slip off the rod at an inconvenient place in the board. Today we're going to learn why air gun barrels rarely need to be cleaned. But first, let's ask ourselves, why do you need to clean the barrel of a firearm? In the 19th century, barrels had to be cleaned because the only gunpowder that existed was black powder. As much as 55% of the powder was unburned and became either smoke at the discharge or ash left inside the barrel. What was left in the gun attracted water and turned into sulfuric acid, which rusted and pitted the barrel in as little as 24 hours after firing. So, immediate cleaning was necessary, or the barrel would quickly be ruined. When smokeless powder came into use, there were still problems with the priming compounds that were corrosive and did pretty much the same thing as black powder. This is still a problem today with certain types of military ammunition. So cleaning the barrel of certain types of firearms soon after firing is still very important. Another problem with firearms is that their bullets leave deposits of lead or copper jacket material bonded to the steel of the barrel. If these deposits aren't removed, the accuracy of the firearm soon suffers. For all these reasons, barrel cleaning is an old and very important part of firearm maintenance. But remember, air guns are not firearms. They don't leave behind gunpowder residue and for the most part, they don't suffer from lead deposits left by the pellets. Only when the pellets travel around 950 feet per second and faster are they subject to leave lead in the barrel. For this reason, air gun barrels don't have to be cleaned nearly as often as firearm barrels. In fact, many times they don't need cleaning at all. However, many shooters assume air guns need to be cleaned in the same way and for the same reasons as firearms. Let's do a little experiment. I have just cleaned this Air Venturi Bronco. Now, let me run a clean patch through it and see what comes out. As you can see, the patch is clean. Let's go outside. I'm gonna shoot this rifle about five times. Now, I'm gonna run another clean patch through it. Now take a look at the patch, which you actually see is not dirt. The black on the patch is actually the compound that the pellet manufacturer puts on the outside of each pellet to keep the lead from oxidizing. If they didn't coat the pellets with something, they would soon turn white because the exposed lead oxidizes. Every pellet manufacturer puts something on their pellets to prevent oxidation. Oil and wax are sometimes used, but many pellet manufacturers use powdered graphite. And they put it on so thin that you can't see it. After you've handled many pellets, your fingertips will be black from this graphite. Here's the important point of this lesson. Immediately after you clean your air gun barrel, the very next pellet you shoot will deposit antioxidant powder into the bore again. So, a cleaning patch run through the bore will always look dirty. But, every time a new pellet is shot, it scrapes some of the deposit from the bore and leaves some of its own behind. Once a barrel gets to a certain state of being dirty this way, it doesn't retain any more antioxidant. From then on, it's in a steady state with no more buildup of the compound. 
You can clean your air guns all the time, but immediately when you start shooting again, it will get dirty. That's why we recommend you only clean your air gun barrel when accuracy falls off. And remember, only clean steel barrels, never brass. One last caution, cleaning a barrel exposes it to wear from the cleaning rod. If the rifling at the muzzle is worn, it will cause a loss of accuracy. Frequent cleaning can do more damage to your gun than just leaving it alone. This lesson covered actual cleaning as opposed to cleaning theory. So some of the points I've made may have gone unnoticed. So let's review them. Firearms are cleaned to remove powder residue and copper and lead fouling. Air guns don't have powder residue, and unless they're very fast, such as around 950 feet per second, they don't get fouled with lead. Pellets are covered with an antioxidant compound that they leave in the bore. Even after they've been cleaned, air gun barrels soon get dirty with this compound. Only clean steel air gun barrels, never brass. Cleaning can wear the muzzle, which causes inaccuracy. It's seldom necessary to clean air gun barrels, and you should only clean when accuracy drops off. Keep on watching, and we'll help you find the right air gun for all your shooting needs. And be on the lookout for more great episodes that deal with different types of air guns for a variety of uses. Thanks for watching Air Gun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.